Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I have a massive Christmas craft haul to share with you. Um, but before I do that, I've just got a couple of really random items that I just I didn't really want to do a separate video for. Um, so there's these Winnie the Pooh pajamas from Primark that say Lazy Days. And they've got some really cute trousers and these are for my friend for Christmas and they cost me £12. And also while I was in Primark, I picked up some of their perfumes. Now, if you have not tried Primark perfumes, then I suggest that you do. They are actually really, really good. Um, I've had lots of compliments recently on some of the perfumes I've been wearing and they've all been from Primark These were all £3.50 each These two are for my friend um, You've got the PS Love World Passion and the PS Love Marble um, But Matt actually picked this up, it has ended up in this bag for some reason But it's the PS Love Noir and I really liked this one So he's put this up as a bit of a stocking filler for me for Christmas And I picked this up for him, now he absolutely loves Star Wars um, and he does use notebooks at work and this was £4.50 and Darth Vader is his all time favourite so I picked that up for him and the pages are just quite plain like that um, but yeah again a nice little stocking filler present um, and while we were in York there was a shop there called Il Gusto like this and they do all vinegars, cocktail spirits, liqueurs and wines and what you do is you buy bottles in there and then they fill it and then you can keep going back with the bottles but they do personalize them so we picked up for his dad this bottle here um, and I can't tell you exactly what the prices are plus they're different um, because you pay per, per milliliter um, but this one here we had filled with Italian brandy and they put on the back you can see it's 350 mil but I don't remember how much that cost and that's to put away for his birthday and then for Christmas, we did the same sort of thing, but we got him this really fun Christmas tree bottle. Um, so it says, obviously, Merry Christmas, Dad, and then with our names, and it's Scotch whiskey in here. Um, and then we paid extra to have the little red stopper. They only had red or blue in the small size, but in the bigger bottles, you also get green. Um, so, yes, yeah, so we paid extra to have the really fancy stopper instead of the cork. So we got those for his dad, and what they also gave us a little sample of oregano oil olive oil there so we'll give that a go at some point um then we popped round to tiger and i absolutely love tiger and i picked up some really good bits so i grabbed some of this gold cord to add things like bells and baubles to my presents this year i already picked up the silver and the red in a previous haul but i don't think i've uploaded that video so what i might do is upload that tiger haul after this um after this video otherwise it's going to get a bit confusing i think um, but yeah, so this was a pound and you get 50 metres of that. So that's a really good value. Um, I picked up some bits for our wreath that I shared in my previous video. So we picked up these little mini baubles here. They were a pound a packet. We picked up the gold, the red and the green. They did have silver, but it was like a dark blue kind of silver. And we didn't think that would go with the theme that we're doing for like our wreath and our decorations at the minute. So we didn't grab that packet. Um, but we did pick up some of these little toadstools to add to our wreath. So you've got the bigger size and the little size. Now we actually think these are the exact same ones that we got with the wreath making kit. Um, so that probably wasn't the best value. But we've got loads of these now to add to all different projects. And even presents. These would look really nice wrapped around a present if you've wrapped it nicely. Um, and I'm not 100% sure on those. I think they were £2 a packet. I think, I think they were £2 a packet. And then I picked up, again, I'd already got some of this in the previous Tiger Hall, which I don't think you've seen yet. Um, but there's these glitter shakers. So they do just regular glitter shakers as well. But these ones are like little bits of ribbon. I thought they'd look really nice in shakers. Now I'd already picked up the purple, the blue and the green. Although I have a really horrible feeling I picked up the pink, not the purple. I don't really know. Was it? I don't. I really don't know what I picked up. I'll have to have another look. Um, but I picked up the colours that I thought I didn't have, which was the silver and the gold, the red, the clear. And then, as I say, I thought I had purple, but now I'm looking at this, I'm wondering if this is the colour I already had. If that's the case, well, I've got an extra one. Who knows? But these were originally £2, and I picked them up as £2. But when I got to the till, they were scanning up as a pound, which is why I just got all of the colours I didn't have. And those are the bits that we picked up from Tiger. Now I'm going to share the bits that we picked up from the works. Um, now I've got some really great bits in the works. Picked up this Be More Vader um, book for Matt. He actually saw it and just kept chuckling. So I picked it up again as a little stocking filler. It was £3. It's got some just little funny quotes inside. 
and um, ways to solve like work problems. It's just a bit of a fun read, I suppose. Um, I picked up these for a pound, just some Christmas gift labels. You get a hundred of them, they're the self adhesive ones. Um, I can't really see, they just look like that. Um, and I'm gifting books to the children for Christmas this year in my class, and this would just be nice to write Merry Christmas and then to their name from Miss Goodwin and then stick on the inside of the books. It just it's nice to be handwrite handwrite the note, but also at the same time you want it to look a little bit jazzy. So I picked those up for a pound. Um and then I went absolutely bell mad. I I absolutely adore jingle bells. And I found these pots here. They were three pound each, and you get twenty jingle bells in the little pot. So we got the gold, the silver and the red. And I just absolutely love Jingle Bells. They make me feel so Christmassy. Um, so I was really, really happy with those. And then Matt found these ones. So it's a five pack of these kind of more fun ones. This was £2, I want to say. Um, so we only picked one packet of that up. And I picked up one packet of these smaller ones. There's 15 for your pound. Um, because I really liked the colour, the green. If they had different sizes, I'd have picked up the different sizes, but they only had this one size of bells. And I know I've got some red and gold ones here, but they're a different size. And you'll see in a second, I don't really care. I have so many bells. Um, then I picked up a couple of trims. So I picked up this sequin trim, pink iridescent. It was reduced to 79p. It says approximately three metres. And they also had red sequin trim, which was six metres for a pound, which I thought was really good value. Um, I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to do with these, but I also oh, I thought they'd be good for wrapping presents or adding to tags. That was my main thought for those ones. Um, and then I picked up these little tassels here. Um, you know I love to make charms, so I picked these up. I thought they'd be really great to make little charms with. So they're pound fifty for the six. These have got silver tops and then there's gold, rose gold and silver holographic tassels. This one they've got gold tops and then it's like a gold colour. There's a pink, that's rose gold, red, blue and pink. So they're all sort of different colours in that one. So I grabbed those. And then I also picked up some different embellishments. So Matt found this little gold um, confetti jar. There was the only one we could find and it was the only colour we could find. But you can see you've got these holographic gold circles i feel like i might already have this um i'm not 100 percent sure so i need to check my stash but for a pound i wasn't going to pass up the opportunity to pick that up um i picked up these little pine cones um we weren't sure whether maybe to try and add these to our reef it's eight for a pound they are really really small um but if not i'm sure i can find something to do with them as i say it might even be adding to presents as well um and then i've got these wooden embellishments so I've got this packet here, which is the reindeer head, um, and then you get six in here for one pound, and these are already pre-glittered, and they're gold, and they're absolutely stunning, really, really like those. But then the rest I picked up just plain wood, because I've got so many different colours of glitter up in my, on my shelf, um, and the card, the paper pack that we're using to make our cards is like blues, purples, and things, not your traditional colours. Um, so I'd quite like to try and glitter these myself. So we picked up these reindeer, which is ten for a pound. We picked up a slightly bigger one, which is six for a pound. And then Matt found these little like stag heads, which is six for the pound. So we picked a packet of each up. And then if I do use them and they come out really well, then I can always go and get some more. And they're all the bits that I picked up from the works. And then the final shop that we went to is a shop called Boys. B O Y E S. Now it's not a shop I've ever seen before, and I don't know if it's just a ra ra random one-off shop or if there's lots of them around. Um, but we picked up some really beautiful bells, and as you can see, I do love myself a jingle bell. So we picked up this set here and the same set in red, and these were two ninety nine each. And I'm not sure exactly how many bells you get, but as you can see, there's quite a lot. I'm trying to not crinkle too much. And you can see you've got some matte ones, some shiny ones, and some glitter ones. So we've got the silver set and then the red set. By the looks of it, they come on one long string, like a garland. Um, but I can cut that apart and I can turn them into little um, accents on presents and things. I think this would look nicer on red string anyway. But they were 2 99 each. They didn't have gold. just had those two colours. Um, and then Matt found these and we thought these were absolutely beautiful. Um, one ninety nine for these bells, and you can see they've got like snowflakes cut out of them and stars. Um, 
eight for one ninety nine in a little box. So we picked up two packets of those. We said we want to kind of use them on each other's presents because we just think they're really, really lovely. And then the very, very last thing I picked up is this tinsel. So let me, there's two packs here. That's why it looks like there's so much. But this is here. This tinsel here, pack of four tinsel, 25 mil wide, and you get an absolute ton. It's really, really long. You can see it's doubled over. And that was a pound for all of that tinsel. Now we picked up two because we said we wanted to kind of add it. We don't really like tinsel on the tree, um, but we wanted to maybe wrap some presents with it or use it for decoration. And actually, for the price of it, in a way, I wish I'd picked up a load because I just feel like that's such good value. I mean, do let me know if there's a place that I could get kind of like a similar amount for a pound. I've not really ever kind of looked out for tinsel as such, but it actually feels quite nice. It's quite soft. It's not that like scratchy tinsel. Um, so I think that's a really, really good value. Um, that's really good uh, value for money. And I'm thinking like if we can try and add a little bit maybe to the top of like the drinks bottle just to kind of judge it up a little bit um in fact we might even be able to with maybe a few glue dots i'm thinking we could kind of wrap the tinsel around the tree as well kind of try and cover not cover up his message we could kind of decorate the tree as well that'd look really cute wouldn't it um so yeah so i was really really happy with that so I think my favourite purchases from this haul are probably obviously all of the different types of Jingle Bells, but I do particularly like these ones. The tinsel for sure. And I've got a real obsession at the minute with toadstools. <laughs> I don't really know why. I don't know why I'm so obsessed with them, but I just think that they're really, really cute. So yeah, so do let me know what your favourite item was down in the comments box below. It'd be lovely to hear from some of you. Um, and if you have any questions, then obviously please, please ask. Hope you're all doing well and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.